Good evening, every fur. I'm here to talk about um, statues relating to the Char Charlottesville tragedy. Now, I do agree that those specific ta statues should be taken down, and it was, um, of course, it was a horrible tragedy. However, I slightly disagree with some radicals. Like I said, I don't completely, I still don't completely buy into the politically correct stuff, because. Um, I don't believe that any statue associated with violence or inequality should be taken down. I like I love um, fantasy stories about kings and warriors, and um, I don't like real violence or real inequality. But um, the issue I have with so many radicals is that some want to cr want to create a utopia by ridding the world of anything slightly related to violence or inequality. Now I take a big issue with that. This has been especially directed towards Saturday morning cartoons. Now, us autistics and us furries know better than that. We know that cartoon violence in no way causes kids to actually be violent in school. Even little kids know the difference between fantasy and reality. And um, that's long been proven. So, um, I have an idea. Um, I think that um, slave owners of the U.S., you can just take them down. However, there's also an issue that any monuments in history related to slavery should be taken down. That would, By that logic, that would mean you'd have to knock down the pyramids of Giza. Now, as a Jew, I kind of take, um, well, we were slaves in Egypt before, although that's more complicated. The vast majority of, of Egyptian servants were actually well paid and treated well and not slaves, and that, that's a whole other issue. And the Hebrew slavery was relatively recent in ancient Egyptian history, but that's a whole other history lesson that I won't get into right now. Now, um, so, um, what I propose is that statues, um, related to, um, fantasy violence be put up, and also statues related to, um, indigenous and pagan warriors, because th that's, um, symbolic warfare. A lot of the time it wasn't, um, at nearly as violent as, um, American warfare has been. So, I suggest knocking down the monuments related to American colonial presidents and um, politicians and warriors. Knock them all down and replace them with statues of um, Native American warriors, Celtic warriors, Saxon warriors, and Viking warriors, especially the animal warriors. Have um, have Native Americans put up put up statues of the dog soldiers, the wolf soldiers, the Kit Fox Warrior Society, those kind of warriors. And um, also um, put up the Viking warriors that are the Ulf Hednar and Berserker warriors, the Bear and Wolf warriors. Put up um, Celtic warriors who fought with Celtic martial arts based on animal moves. You could even put up um, Asians, yeah, like Asian people can be um, honored for um, their heritage by putting up samurai and ninja warriors um, and, and um, statues honoring the different Asian martial arts. So, um, and in that same vein, put up Pokemon, put up Pokemon battle statues, statues of Pokemon battling, um, statues of, um, of the warriors from Redwall, of the, of the warriors from Narnia, of Aslan and Reepicheep the Mice, Reepicheep the Mouse, and all the good warriors in Narnia who fought against evil. Put up Lord of the Rings, um, warrior statues. And, uh, put up, just put up different warrior and king and queen and chief statues from traditional cultures that honored nature and the interconnectedness of everyone and fairness for all and then uh, put up put up um, statues of fantasy characters who fight with honor and who um, rule with justice and, and peace and who um, show an example as leaders. I'd love it if even I'd love it if you could put up like Disney character statues of put up a statue of um, Simba fighting Scar to take his place as king. It's like you know, yeah, take down the old statues because colonial, like the U.S. is just a big, um, the U.S. acts like it's the best country in the world, American expansionism. But American expansionism really does have to go. U.S. expansionism is like, you know, the U.S., even though it's, techni it, it's, even though it's technically a democracy, it's a weak democracy by now, as everyone knows, is that, you know... It, um, of course, it was built upon stolen Native American land, which is not cool. And so pretty much all the leaders that's, that the American statues represent, the war leaders that the American statues represent, 
really not cool, not because they're, they promote fighting or inequality, though, but more so that, you know, well, they promote fighting and inequality taken to the worst degree. They promote the African slave trade, and they promote the Native American genocide. Stuff like that doesn't exist in nature. Other animals fight, but other animals don't take it to that degree of violence and inequality. So... That's my proposal for the war for the new war leader statues of the US.